effects. Coming at you 8th of July after a busy Friday. A few things on our mind here. Dollar looks weak, as we mentioned uh, on Friday, especially against these commodity currencies. Getting a little bit late in the day here for this dollar CAD, uh, but this is a very interesting trend line. Hopefully, this bounces here at the open here at 55, between 50 and 55. But a break of this trend line will be significant. Uh, continue with his dollar sell-off story. Obviously, if Trump does a deal in China, um, Aussie will go higher. Oil oil will go higher. There'll be more risk on. Dollar cat will go lower as well. Speaking of Aussie, uh, Core Long looks the way today. Where is she? Aussie. Um, don't want to chase this uh, too much. We're not. We don't want to pay high ones today. We want to try and collect low ones. So somewhere between uh, seventy-one twenty and seventy-one, the figure you want to try and get some Aussie on board. This uh, also looks set to go higher, and the market is core short Aussie. So this could really uh, continue to move. Aussie yen, another way to do this slightly more difficult because dollar yen is stubbornly offered. Dollar yen should be higher of course with equities above 2522. Uh, bonds, US bonds turned aggressively but dollar yen refuses to go higher. Spooky almost. What's wrong with dollar yen? Uh, so we're not touching dollar yen. This is just doesn't make a lot of sense to us. Euro looks like 115 is going to trade uh, this week, so we want core long euro. Just very tentatively core long euro has been just stuck in this range. The sensible play would just be wait for 115 to break and then buy there. So don't get caught up getting super long or super short mid range because there's been a lot of absurd ups and downs here, euro, um, making it tricky. One of our favorite charts, as we talked about on Twitter on Friday, is this T-Bond future bearish engulfed at the high after a hysterical yield up there. Um, we really think this can go lower. This is the uh, this is the yield 290 290 at its lows. Anytime the 30 years below 3%, uh, we get skeptical. It doesn't pass the sniff test, the grandma test, uh, your little sister test. Um, who wants to own any 30 year instrument yielding less than 3%? Um, historically, that doesn't make much sense to me. Anyway, uh, Dollar Max, like Dollar Rand, uh, on its knees. This is interesting, the 200 day here, uh, held here. Dollar Max is tricky because of all this wall nonsense, but all of Dollar EM is very, very offered. And this is one of the key uh, trades being touted by all the banks around the world. Uh, sell dollars, buy EM. We're not really on this. It was obviously very hectic on the first couple of days of trading to do this, um, but a lot of the shorts got shaken out, so the positioning is cleaner. There's no reason this can't get down to 1350. Uh, if and when it does, uh, we will start looking the other side on dollar rand, and same with dollar max as we approach 19, 19 even. Anyway, uh, we're focusing on this long bond today, and we're focusing on the euro today. Um, let's have a look at the calendar real quick. What do we have today? ISM manufacturing from the U.S., not too much in Europe. Retail sales, I guess, uh, in Europe. At 11 a.m. Swiss time, 
ISM Manufacturing and Ivy out of Canada. We'll keep an eye on that. Obviously, the manufacturing ISM is less important than the services in the U.S., but still worth worth watching. Um, anyway, focus uh, short uh, short ZB, the long treasury in the U.S., and we'll be looking at ways to get long euro today. Good luck out there, people. I will catch you tomorrow.